Hello, my peepers. Welcome to another episode of Mytho March with the Jackalope. And if you remember, I said that I would let you all vote on the next picture. Okay. So let me find my pictures. This is number one of what we will do next. This is number one. This is number two. This is number three. And this is number four. So in the comments below, put either one, two, three, or four. And that we are still working on the jackalope with the pastel colors. Now let me get my pencils all together here. So I was coloring in Romantic Country a little while ago. I have a crystal light to drink. It is 10.30 p.m. Wednesday. I kind of had a little bit of a busy day. Okay, let's go in with these leaves down here and I will try to... Okay, so we will do the leaves. We have pale sage and light green. I've been using my electric sharpener again because it really, really gives me a nice point. So, let's go in. What are we doing? Not that leaf. This leaf here. Just a light layer. Don't forget we want it to look pastel and soft. Easter. I hope that you've all been enjoying this week's Mytho March. So, this morning I did not get up till like, what was it, 9 o'clock, 9.30? The animals had decided I had enough sleep and they were hungry. A Scott's usually home a little after 7 in the morning and then he feeds them. But because we knew we had the storm coming in, he wanted to go directly to the gas station so that he could plow. So he had already asked me the night before if I would, or last night, if I would um, mind feeding them in the morning. So said nope as I had no plans today except for tonight but I received a text if I would watch the little one today because she was getting Their mom was getting, um, she had an appointment and he was not wanting any part of it. So she asked if she could bring him over 
And I said, sure. And I was coloring in the Romantic Country watching um, Anne from A Colorful Life. So I had to put that on pause when he got here. So he didn't even care she dropped him off. <laughs> so this is weird because I don't really see a line for this down here, but I'm going to color this in anyways. Just looks weird. It looks weird. So when he got dropped off, Scott was in the middle of, well, almost at the end of fixing hamburger stroganoff. And I said, well, it'll be the little guys. Right, I'm doing that after. It'll be the little guy's lunchtime because it was 1 o'clock and usually he eats at 11.30 and goes, we start eating at 11.30 and he goes down for his nap at noon. So I knew he was hungry. And then he wanted juice. So he went to my friend, my friend, my fridge and was saying juice, so... I said, I don't have any juice, and then I remembered I had a couple juice boxes, so I dumped that in the sippy cup, and Scott said, lunch is ready. What will the little guy eat? I said, he will eat the hamburger stroganoff, and Scott says, but it's too hot. I said, then tell him it's hot. He knows what hot means. And Scott's too funny. Well, he'll choke on it. I said, he will not choke on it. And Scott says, well, you should break up the noodles for him so he doesn't choke on it. I said, he won't choke on the noodles. He's fine. He's going to be two years old the end of May. I said, he's fine. <laughs> He was just relentless on that. I'm going to do these parts. So he set the plate down at the table and the little guy crawled right up in the chair. He started gobbling lunch. I gave him a little kid's fork. He used it twice and held on to it and started using his hands. I'm like, well, whatever. He ate everything I gave him. Said, let's go in and play in the family room. We'll go watch TV. So I turned the TV on and I pulled out some of the toys and Daenerys loves him. So they played together a little bit. Just seeing what if I've forgotten anything. Okay, so now we want the purples, which we have lavender and parma violet. So he started getting tired and he normally will not sleep anywheres but his house but I had him crawl up on my lap and he's sitting on the edge of my lap watching TV and I could see his head starting to bob and I was afraid he was gonna go face first into the carpet So I leaned him back up against me and he was out like a light. And that's when his mom texted me, I'm on my way home, I'm like 15 minutes away 
and I said he's sleeping and she says do you want me to send his dad to pick him up on his way home then and I said yeah because that'll give him an hour nap she says and then you can ride home or ride back to our house because she was treating me out for a manicure now I have never had a manicure and let me tell you something I don't ever want to freaking do my nails again <laughs> and I really liked where we went um, it's a husband who does the acrylics and the um, the gel polish and if you want designs his wife does that it's just the two of them in there I don't know if they have other people during the day but we didn't get there till 530 at a little after 5 so I showed them what I wanted and he says he wasn't doing airbrushing anymore because I had picked it was like a dark it was a light green and then it got darker towards the tip and all sparkles so I couldn't get exactly what I wanted but I still really like my nails I was really impressed and I said and he he was picking on me at first when we first got in because he knows her really well because it she's been going to him since before she met my son which is a long time ago so just blending this out so he says what do you mean you don't want acrylics and I said um, I have really good nails I will have to have you look at them and give me your honest opinion and he said okay so he's got an accent she's not sure if they're from Vietnam or where they're from cuz they'd talk back him and his wife would talk back and forth in their language but he is a jokester and oh my gosh it was funny listening to him and her so he looked at my nails and he said, no, we are not putting acrylics on those nails. He says, you have really nice nails. And I told him, you know, I usually have to cut them back two to three times a year. And he says, that's it. And I said, yeah, usually the winter months is when they crack. And then in the summer, when it's real humid out, I said, otherwise they grow awesome. And he was looking at him. He says, yeah, we are. He says, I lose money not doing acrylics because acrylics is where the money's all at, he says, but we are not putting acrylics, he says, because we'll ruin your nails. And I said, okay. He says, whenever you decide not to have, you know, because you, you have to take them off every once in a while, and he said, no. We'll just do the gel manicure. Okay. So since we go back in two weeks, that'll be Easter time. So Amber and I are already looking at Easter designs. But she wanted to pay for it. She wants me to go with her every two weeks. She's been wanting me to go with her for a year now, well, almost since I met her and I wouldn't do it before because I worked at a lab and it just would have ruined anything I had done. So I finally give, gave in and but she wants us to have a better relationship. So I agreed. So you guys want to really see my nails? See? So it was supposed to be light green going dark with all sparkles and he didn't do that. So 
he did the green and then he took a black sparkle and put that on the tips and then um, he did the white here and his wife did the shamrocks so I am pleased and then he said do you want them rounded or more of a square and I says I don't know my nails always go rounded so he got looking at them and he says well let's shape them up and see and so we went with a little bit of square look and then she told him that she wanted me to get the paraffin wax I'm like you don't need to pay for that she goes nope I want you to get the paraffin wax well let me tell you that was I've done that on my own because I used to have stuff to do it myself I had a machine in that but we got rid of it a long time ago and that was all fine and dandy but then he massaged my hands I don't know I love having my feet massaged Dylan used to do it all the time just seeing what I'm doing here um He massaged my hand. And I have to tell you what. I, oh, that felt so good. You know how when you scratch the dog's back in one spot and their back leg goes? Yep, that's pretty much how I felt when he started massaging the, my palm of my hand in that with real hard pressure. Oh, my gosh, that was like heaven like I told him I said that feels so good so he's like he kept calling me mom and we got done and we're on our way home and she said that she doesn't like anybody else doing her nails she just had them done in Buffalo by someone else and a week later she had to take them off because they didn't use they don't use gel nail polish and they were chipping her acrylic nails were so she ended up taking them off so this guy's name is Billy <laughs> And he said, why you go somewhere else? So that was really nice. That was a nice experience. And I came home and I told Scott, I am not doing my nails anymore. I said, it didn't take as long. I usually take a full two hours to do my nails and then I can't do anything for at least an hour after that because I'll smudge them or do something to them and I had my nails done came home colored a little bit while having while getting supper ready and then did dishes before I fed the animals. I couldn't have done that, all that when I do my own nails. I end up smudging them. So, yeah. And I told her I don't want her paying every single time and she said she wants to. And I said, well, if I have extra money, I will either pay or just at least help. And I don't expect that the paraffin wax every time I go. That was just a treat because she didn't get that done to herself. She just wanted me to. I'm like, oh, my God. 
So I am really glad that he was honest with me and said no, no acrylics on your nails. So her and I are already picking out Easter designs we want for next time because it'll be right before Easter. So what else did I do today? Oh, I finished watching part three and part four of March Through Romantic Country. So I got those parts done on my page. And I watched Jessica from Jessica's Coloring Corner finish up the St. Patrick's Day picture. And I finished that as well. I wanted to also watch, who else did I want to watch today? Oh, I wanted to watch Kate's Color and Chat Part 2 and 3, and I didn't get to that. And then there's another Colorful Life video from March 9th I haven't watched yet. I think it was just a Color and Chat. And announce and giveaway winners. So I haven't gotten to that video yet either. Well, I like it. I got to get an orange. Orange. Orange for the pumpkin. How are we doing on time? Orange for the pumpkin. I just did my watercolor Wednesday video. I did that first because I only do a 30 minute one. Okay, I know we have a pumpkin orange. We have a pumpkin orange, Spanish orange. What's this? And sunburst yellow. So let's sharpen them up. So yeah, I was really tempted when I came home just to throw out all my nail polish. But I'm like, no, what if there's... My Spanish orange just... blood just broke. What if there's a time that we can't go get them done. So, anyways. I am going in with pumpkin, no, sunburst yellow. Light layer. I always thought she got her nails done at Walmart and she said she used to and he used to work at Walmart and then him and his wife opened up their own business so when she found that out then she started going to them so I want to sometime get my nails done like Sharon's. It, what is it called? Cat's eyes. I love though. I love her nails right now. That was pumpkin orange. I just went in. I'm going back in with Spanish orange. Kind of blending that out. And then in with sunburst yellow. 
But if I do that tiger's eye look or whatever it's called, I want to do that in the fall. That's to me a more of a fall look. I can't wait for the Halloween. <laughs> yes, I'm already looking forward to it. I just I I didn't think that I would really care for it. I really didn't. So what else do I want to talk about? So I did, yep, I watched and colored Colorful Life. I watched Jessica. Um, in April on Anne's channel, A Colorful Life, they are going to be coloring in Intricate Animals by Tim Jeff. I think she's working out all three of the books. Okay, I'm doing him in blues. So we need to find some pastelli blues. Okay, I have... I'm not sure which one. Which one looks better? I can't tell. Okay. I have powder blue. Caribbean Sea. And Blue Lake. So let's take Powder Blue. We're working on the Jack Loop. And I don't know yet what we're going to do with those. Those might be purple. So we're going in light pressure. And Trudy, in, that's in a lot of the coloring groups, had today's question of the day. And I told, I've contacted Trudy and told her that I am going to be using her questions and giving her credit for it. And she said thank you. So she's asked some really neat questions. So today is National Chip Day. What is your favorite chip? So mine is Doritos. The regular plain old Doritos. They have always been my favorite. I do like sour cream and onion and salt and vinegar. I tried the dill pickle ones when I was babysitting one day. I didn't mind those. It's not something I would probably go out and buy. I don't like plain potato chips unless there's dip. And they have to have ridges. They cannot be just plain chips. They have to have ridges. I don't know why. Just how I am. And I love Pringles. And barbecue used to be my least favorite. And it depends on the brand. So I'm not too much of a potato chip snob. I do like the Tostitos with salsa or guacamole. And I also like them with hummus. But if I have to pick one chip, 
one flavor, it would be my Doritos. And I don't care for Doritos Ranch. I'm not a big, I don't care for ranch dressing too much. So what is your favorite chip? And I don't eat them like I used to because I have diabetes and I'm not supposed to have the chips. Now when I babysit, they've always got chips in the house. And if the boys want them, I end up having some because I cannot pass up chips even though I'm not supposed to have them. So yeah, I didn't think I would get this video made because it's 11 p.m. right now and I thought I would be too tired but I'm actually wide awake. I don't know if it's because I got out in the fresh air. I don't know if it was from the excitement of getting a manicure. I just, I did, I liked it. I did, I will admit it. So I did ask her how her job interview went. When was it? Yesterday. And she said it went very well and she loved the women. There's only six people in the office and she loved it. So. And it's three 12 hour days, but she can pick what days. Every week it can be a different day. And some Saturdays, once in a while on Saturdays. I think, Saturday, yeah, I think Saturdays. So I said, okay. I said I don't mind babysitting Saturdays once in a while and I wouldn't have I would have them at like 7:30 in the morning on a Saturday it would be yeah 7:30 till um like 2:30 3 o'clock because that's when my son works till on Saturdays. So, yeah, I just, and she said I would get the same pay. And I asked her, are you sure? She said yes. So, We had a good time and we talked a lot today. We needed to do that and
Okay, I'm going in with Blue Lake. <clears throat> You should have seen me. I'm watching Anne's video. It was part four. <laughs> and I was sitting there coloring, and it's quiet in the house. And all of a sudden, I could hear these birds chirping. And I'm like, I, where are the birds chirping coming from? We have winds out there, and it's snowing, and there's birds chirping. And then Ann said something, can you hear the birds chirping? I'm like, thank God it's her, because I'm sitting here looking around the house going, there's no windows open, and why would the birds be out there chirping in this stupid weather? So, yeah, that was funny, I'm laughing. Birds chirping. Yeah, and then they must have called off the um, storm for us because um, this afternoon my phone went off for weather alert and when I checked it, it said there were no more alerts. So they must have canceled it. Okay, I'm going back in with the powder blue. I am really, really thrilled with this picture. What are we at? 37 minutes? Really? We're at 37 minutes? Oh, we're going to finish this today. Now, I am still trying to decide what color to do the antlers. I probably should bring some of that yellow and orange into it. Bring some of the yellow and orange into it. Should I? I probably should. And I think I'm going to do this shell with this blue. And I was going to use my lavender acrylic paint for the background, but I don't think so because this has the purple in the, some of these leaves. So I'm debating what I want to do with the background. So I don't want to do pink because there's pink flowers. Does it really need a background? So I don't really think it needs a background.
hunt. He looks good. It looks good. Okay, now we want some yellows and oranges for in here. So I think we're going to go in with canary yellow. Let's see that. Canary yellow. So we want to bring some of the yellows and oranges into this. And then I found another new um, color tuber. She's brand new. She only has three videos. And her name is Victoria's Coloring Corner. Her first video is like two minutes long and it shows some of her finishes and they're absolutely beautiful. So go check her out. Okay, I'm going to go in with Sunburst Yellow. Just a little bit. Then with pumpkin orange, Okay, back in with Sunburst Yellow. And go over it all with canary yellow. What do you think? It's too too bright. Should I add some more pumpkin orange? I think maybe I will add a little bit more orange. I don't know. Kinda need to maybe step back a little bit. I think I'm going to leave it like that. But we're going to take the blues into this shell. So we're going in with powder blue. Caribbean Sea. Blue Lake, and back in with Powder Blue.
Well, look at that. That is definitely different. Going in with black. And then my white uniball. There. Just to make a dot. Oh, I got butterflies. We got butterflies. Okay, we have one, two, three butterflies. So let's go in with Blue Lake up here. I'm afraid of ruining it if I do a background. Because really, what background can you go with without hurting anything? Okay, I'm going to go down into this one here. And then this butterfly. Okay, and blush pink. Blush pink and Parma violet for the body. I'm done coloring it and I'm still trying to decide about the background. Well, we didn't do too bad. We did this in three parts, unless we do a background, but oh, I'm scared to do the background. I mean, it is kind of plain, but I'm going to leave it. If I think about it further on down the road, maybe, but as of right now, we are leaving it the way it is so we don't ruin it. Because I really like how this came out. I think that doing the antlers in that color kind of brought out the pumpkin more in some of the middle of the flowers. 
Yeah. So that is it, my peepers. Thank you so much for watching this. Vote down below on what page you want to do next. And we will start that on Monday. And then I think tomorrow we will do a tomorrow and Saturday because we probably won't finish it up tomorrow. We are going to work on a St. Patrick's Day picture. So I'm going to show you what I have. And you can pick. Okay. I have this by Molly Harrison. I believe you can get this off her website. I think that's where I got this was from her website. And then this is a Jade Summer freebie. I, I am not sure if you have to be in her Facebook group to get this free. And then in Deborah Muller's group, she has this for free. And I'm not sure if you can get it on her website or anything. I think it's just in her Facebook group. So let me know which one you want me to color tomorrow and Saturday. Do you want Deborah Muller? Molly Harrison or Jade Summer and that is the choice and we will do that Thursday night and Saturday and um, yeah because this is going to get uploaded in like an hour so it, you'll have almost all day Thursday because it's going on 11.30 now. So you'll have all day Thursday. And then after dinner, I will go by what all the votes are for this. And f for the pictures. Well, I'll let you guys keep voting on the picture until Saturday for the next picture out of this book. And then I will announce Saturday night what we are going to start on Monday. So that is it, my peepers. Thank you so much for subscribing and for liking and for sharing, watching, of course, <laughs> and joining the lawn. And I hope that you all joined in on this. And I, I've seen some beautiful finishes already, and I can't wait to see more. So I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.